Hello, welcome back. This is the Spirit Monger 187. Welcome back for another match of Shadow Era. Let's just check what our rating is 257. So, today I'm going to play a different deck, not my Chija. I'm going to play an other deck, and you'll see soon which deck that is. Um, so, we're still not gaining a lot of rating, we're still not going above the 260. So that's not very nice, but let's just keep playing and keep switching some decks until I find the deck I really want to play with a lot. It's like the Amber Rain deck, but I have played that deck uh, so many times that I just want to switch out the deck and switch to a new Mian deck. And I think my Jija is one of the uh, decks that I want to play for sure. So I'm going to play Zana the Mist. Today, a pretty fat deck, but I think Zana is one of the uh, only heroes that can play with a, a large deck. Maybe some Moonstone color. Let's give him a high have fun because uh, yeah, I'm playing the Bazaar card, I'm playing the Bad Sanders, uh, a lot of card draw. And uh, the reason why I think she can play with more than 40 cards is that she has mass removal. So um, even when things look bad, you can always play your tidal waves to come back in the game. But uh, yeah, in the, in the past I've, I've figured out because I have to play a tidal wave like turn 5, turn 6. And after that, my opponent, he, because he draws so many cards, um, he still gets the advantage. Because after the tidal wave, they play more allies. And I have the tidal wave again, and I'm, I'm every, always one step behind. But we just keep playing, uh, we're gonna play this deck again. And I rebuilt it from scratch, because I played it uh, sometimes before with 40 cards or with 50 plus cards. But now I just uh, deleted that deck and created a new one. So this is really the first game I'm playing with it. And, uh, maybe you like it, maybe I'm gonna win. But I don't think so, but just keep up good faith. So he's throwing a fireball at my Alden. <laughs> I'm coming in for one. So we keep drawing new cards. And we're going rid of, get rid of this one, and we'll just play that bad sender. And why? Because we can. And we'll just go to end turn here. But I don't care that you got this tome of knowledge, I don't want to destroy it. It's probably not even going to draw any cards. Unless he got like, lots and lots of mana. Or resources. So that card sucks because this deck is pretty slow and I'm taking now one damage each turn. So that's not really nice of him. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to play our Jasmine. And yeah, let's just heal up one time. Come back to 24. And we'll end turn here. I'm going to smoke my jasmine, but yeah, I knew that before I played her, so that doesn't really matter. So what I'm going to play next turn depends on what I'm going to draw, of course, because I don't have any cards that I want to play yet. And maybe I'm going to destroy this Tome of Knowledge, but we'll see. Okay, he's playing it pretty good, keeping his ability. And he's going to attack me for one more. What we're going to do is go to check if I keep bazaar. Cast our Elizabeth Winterborn and draw out a rain delay. We're gonna draw some more cards. If we draw a few. And this deck has really lots of card draw. Bazaar, Bad Sanders, this one. And the uh, the weapon, 
Let's uh, see which one Shadow Energy draw a card. Forgot the name, but I also play that card four times. This one two times. Bazaar four times and four times the Bird Sana. So with that, I'm trying to uh, compromise the disadvantage of the more than four, 40 cards in the deck. So I just want to keep drawing cards. And there comes a Winter Staff or something, what it's called. Everything that comes into play, every ally will come into play frozen. We'll just get rid of this one. And just cast this one on this Voice of Winter. And we are going to heal ourselves up once more. And I sacrifice the the card that says heal your uh, hero or ally for 4 damage point and remove all conditions. Uh, in the previous version of the deck I played like 2 or 3. And now I guess I only play 1, so that's kind of crap. I sacrifice that. It's going to fireball at me. Here in the long run, I'm losing against two Christopher Wild, so three now. Taking me down to thirteen. And that's not a point where I wanna be, especially not against a mage. Because at the start of my turn, I'm also going to lose one more health. Plus, I'm not going to draw any cards. So that sucks. Um, just going to get rid of the album. And it will blow them all up. And we are just going to destroy that one over there. Just because we can. It was not really necessary, but it's drawing cards anyways but I think this is a game and I'm going to lose because yeah the whole match you're one step behind and that sucks so but this is a, yeah I really like to play this deck with, with more than 50 cards because I really like to see the next update is uh, adjustment of uh, minimum deck size and make it 50 or 60 because there are always so many cards that you want to put into your deck but you do not have enough space and I know um, if it becomes 50 or 60 your deck becomes more worse than it is but yeah, you will see a much a bigger variety of decks um, yeah, that's why I, uh, I really would like to see that in the next update. Because when I play against Dex, uh, almost always you know uh, he's gonna play that in turn 2, in turn 3. It's almost never a surprise for which card you're gonna play. And when you play 50 or 60 cards, you can put some cards in it uh, that are specific against one or two decks. Uh, not always a good versus other decks, but so a supernova. So we're in the range of another supernova now. This sucks. We have did nothing with this deck, this match, and no, we didn't draw any heal cards. So we are going down. Let's cast this one and this one. Oh no, I got my ability left. Let's just use that. Going back to 8, but I think he has some fireballs left or a supernova to deal a lot of damage. So, yeah, that card really sucked, um, giving me one damage each turn. Most mages don't, don't play those cards, I think, but he played it. Uh, consume fear and fleet through the messenger. It's not finishing off quite yet. It's one for my throat. Take me down to seven and down to six. Let's get rid of the pure. Uh, 
Should we attack first with this one or? And maybe we're going to draw something that I could use. Nope. So we draw the King's Pride. And we have two left. Uh, let's see here. Book of Curses. And we'll tag. This one over here and enter. I'm really waiting for the last supernova or fireball to finish me off. I'd expected that much earlier, but this is my last turn, I think. <laughs> it's going to consume three of my ally. She's not drawing the cards she wanted, I think. We have another fit for the messenger that you can use to shovel card in his deck and draw a new one and draw a supernova or a fireball. So when is he going to take me out? Next turn possibly. Three or six, I'm going to draw one card and that's not a card that I need. We have a lot of allies here. Yeah, nothing would come of it because we have already lost. We lost too many health out of it, out of the poison card. And I should have kept the card that says heal your ally or hero for 4 damage and remove any conditions it's suffering from. And that would really help me out. I thought I played like 2, 1 or 2 of them. But and does he not still not grabbing a fireball? Because one fireball would be enough to take me out. Yes, there it is. So that's it, Supernova. That's it, guys. I hope you liked this match. And don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. And we'll see you next match. And maybe I'm going to play this Sana one more time. And after that, match again. See you next time, gents. Cheers.